Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discover Tavel Appellation. So it is located on the southern Rhone Valley wine region and at the west of Chateauneuf-du-Pape and the south of Lirac. The Appellation produces exclusively rosé wines, but not any rosé and it was considered for a long time as the best rosé of France. Its superficie is of about 890 hectares and its production is of about 30 hectoliters per hectare per year. So as regards its history, uh, the cultivation of vines in the region dates back to the 5th century before Christ. So established by the Greeks, the vineyard was developed with the Romans. It was located on an important axis of communication between uh, the oppidum of Roquemort and Nîmes. Tavel was indeed in the ideal position to develop. So various vestiges dating from this period, such as a fragment of amphoras uh, decorated with bunches of grapes, were found. However, the name of Villa Tavelis, which will become Tavel over the years, appear for the first time in writings from the 13th century. In the middle of the 14th century, Pope Innocent VI, who had a particular uh, predilection for wines uh, from the right bank of the Rhône, brought the wines uh, to the pontifical table, uh, those from the priory of Montezargues. This wine estate, which still exists today, is located in the heart of AOC Tavel. After the return of the popes to Rome and until the revolution, the wines of Tavel and the region were exported to Italy. In 1902, the wine producers of Tavel formed the syndicate of wine growers. Then in 1927, at the instigation of Baron Pierre Leroy de Bossomarier, Aimé Roudil, president of the Union and 40 Tavel producers, took legal action before the civil court of guard in order to define the production area. Then Tavel obtained in 1936 the AOC, Appellation d'origine contrôlée, and thus become the first rosé of France to have this distinction. Amongst famous winemakers, we can cite Prioré de Montezargues, uh, Domaine Beaumont, or Domaine Bellange. The wine growing terroir of Tavel is made up of four distinct zones. First, an alluvial zone generated by the Rhône, which is found on the slopes of the AOC Lirac and Tavel, in the form of old alluvium covering the low and medium terraces. Then, a sandy area dating from the middle Pliocene, uh, whose sands are found between Tavel and Roquemort. An area of Marly limestone deposited during the lower Baremian, which formed the massif of Villeneuve, Les Avignons, Les Angles, and Tavel. And finally, an area of upper Baremian limestone, which Urgonian facies, that makes up the Tavel Rochefort du Gard massif. These are essentially crystalline limestone and gravelly limestone. So the climate of Tavel is of a Mediterranean influence. It experiences a reduced rainfall, uh, sunshine of 2,700 hours on average per year, and as well a prevailing wind, the Mistral. So the grape varieties used for making Tavel are Grenache Noir, which is the basis of production. All the main grape varieties are less than or equal to 60% of the total grape varieties used. The secondary grape varieties are Sinso, Bourboulinc, Clairette, Mourvedre, Picpoul, Syrah, and have a portion less than equal to 10% of the total grape variety. Morelli, Carignan, and Calitor are used. So as regards the tasting note, uh, the pink color of this wine can vary from salmon to deep ruby pink. Uh, their complex nose of red fruits evolves towards mellow notes of stone fruits and almonds, while their ample and round mouth reveal a great aromatic power, supported by spicy touches. As we got the food pairing, Tavel is a rosé with complexity and can remind sometimes of a light red wine. Therefore, it is great to enjoy with fleshy fishes such as salmon, but also with poultry such as a duck. Other good pairings would be quail, uh, grilled pork, and so on. It is similarly to its cousin from the province, great to enjoy also with a barbecue or simply with a charcuterie platter. The wines of Tavels are meant to be kept between two to three years. So thank you for watching this video about Tavel. We hope you liked it. And see you next time for another wine video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.